So the small intestines, so Jean-Pierre calls these the long and winding roads. So let's just orientate ourselves. So here is the stomach. And exit point of the stomach is something called the pyloric sphincter and the pylorus. And then here we have the duodenum. And I apologize for my pronunciation. In my country, we say duodenum. I know you guys say duodenum, but I'll try to remember that, but duodenum. From, now, from here on in, you might hear duodenum. And then we come into <clears throat> the next part, which is the jejunum. And finally, we have the ileum. Now, from a visceral manipulation perspective, we actually work the we actually um, mobilize the duodenum very differently to the way that we, we work the loops of the small intestine. Their function is different and their connections are different. So for the purpose of this, I'm now going to refer to the small intestine. When I refer to the small intestine, I'm actually referring to the jejuno ileum. I'm going to say small intestine because if I had to say jejuno ileum 15 times, I would go mad and you probably would too. So <clears throat> the small intestine. So it's... Um, in order for this to function correctly, everything upstream has to work well as well. So the stomach has to have, to have you have to have chewed, the stomach has to have broken down the acid um, with the acid effectively, the duodenum, which is where the pancreatic enzymes and the bile are entered into the system. Um, Jean-Pierre calls the duodenum the cocktail shaker because it has a more sophisticated role in digestion than the grinding pouch of the stomach. That has to have all done its job. And so finally, once you, <clears throat> once you get into the loops of the small intestine, they are able to do their function. So it's a bit like a factory. Everything upstream has to function first. So the more that is learnt about this organ, the more complex it appears to be. Okay, so it, its primary role is in the absorption of nutrients, but it also has a huge role to play in sort of the hormone system, and a lot of the body's immune cells are actually um, located here. As far as the hormone system, it is where the greatest production of melatonin, your sleep hormone, and serotonin, your feel-good hormone, are located. It is also hypersensitive, hugely intelligent. There's more neurons in the peripheral, in the, in the loops of the small intestine than there are in the entire peripheral nervous system. And so for this point, it actually is very easily irritated, can be hypersensitive, and also can react strongly to stress. So Jean-Pierre says that when we're mentally irritated, it will cause the muscles of that um, smooth intestine to contract and therefore it absorbs less. So the small intestine, as I said, is made up of these smooth muscles that have constant contractile um, waves of peristalsis. And these are triggered by different receptors, by tension receptors, chemoreceptors, mechanoreceptors, all the receptors you can think of. And that chime is mixed about 16 times a minute. And the inner cells of the, start of the <coughs> lining of the small intestines themselves will actually renew themselves every couple of days. 